Hi, this is Wes Fryer. It is May the 7th, 2015, and I'm here in my classroom at Independence Elementary, and I just wanted to do a little quick Apple TV demo um, to show how I am using Flickr albums to basically have a screensaver on my Apple TV. So I'll give you a, a little view of this. So first thing to notice on the Apple TV is that I don't have, uh, you know, all the current movies and all that kind of stuff. In your settings, uh, when you open up settings, you can choose to turn that off um, by going to, uh, let's see if it's under general, it's parental controls uh, restrictions. Uh, they change the names of these kind of things up a little bit. Uh, but you set a passcode and then you can choose um, to uh, what you want to show. And actually, that's not, yeah, purchase and rental, hide. So I've got that um, hidden. So uh, all those things are, are not even you know, visible on the home screen. Um, what I'm going to do now is actually select screen saver. And I'm going to go down to uh, photos. And I'm going to choose Flickr. And you have to authorize your Flickr account. So you select it and they give you a code. But then you have your um, Flickr account connected. And so I'm going to select my albums here. And once they come up, I'm going to choose the, um, the pipe cleaner um, structure challenge. Those, that was the last challenge that we were doing with my STEM students. So I'm uploading these with my phone. I can select that album now, and I can say use as a screensaver. And if I want to bring it up right now, I'll click preview, and it'll start to load those and bring them up. But now... Whenever I have my Apple TV on, these pictures are going to come up just like a screensaver, and it's going to flip through those. And that is really, really awesome. It's another great reason to use Flickr, which is a free photo sharing site, as your uh, classroom you know, photo sharing sandbox, basically, and, and create albums for different projects. Um, not only does it let you, you know, share this as a screensaver, but it also gives you a link so that from your classroom website, students can link to these pictures and then use those in projects. And that's been something that you know, we have done this year with ebooks and with narrated slideshows and uh, things that we've created with our iPads. So I hope that's helpful, and I will include a link in the video show notes um, to actually go to my Flickr page. I've made an, a collection on Flickr of all the, I think, 45 albums that I've created the past two years here in STEM, and it's just really fantastic to um, have your class photos available like this in an album so that you can not only share them as a screensaver, but again, students can use them.